Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kirsty and my channel is all things motherhood, lifestyle, day in the life. So if that interests you, then I would love for you to subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you toys that my one-year-old actually plays with on a day-to-day -day basis. So you may get inspiration from this video on Christmas presents or upcoming birthday presents that you might be able to buy for any babies that are about to turn one. My daughter Layla is currently 15 months old and she plays with most of these toys I'm going to talk to you about pretty much on a daily basis. Most of them she actually got for her first birthday and she has been playing with them daily since. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is actually shown behind me. So it's this foam ball pit here. We've got a large square ball pit with, I think it's got 400 balls in and she absolutely loves playing with this. As you can imagine, balls fly everywhere. We find them all over the place. But she has hours of fun playing with it. And recently she's just started really throwing herself into the ball pit. So she has great fun playing with that. The next thing is the step and slide, which if I slide the book out the way you can see. So that is like a, um, well, soft play, at home soft play basically. So it's got the steps there going up and then a slide coming down. She absolutely loves this and her confidence is really great with it recently. She can now climb up the slide and comes down the steps. Um, and she has a way of a time just throwing herself around playing with that. So again, really good investment piece, given that soft plays for a good chunk of this year have actually been closed because of lockdown restrictions. It's been a really good um, investment piece, that one. So next up is a toy that I think all kids love, and it is the Mega Blocks. She loves these. Currently, her favourite thing is probably dismantling anything that we've built using the Mega Blocks. She really enjoys those. Another favourite game actually with those at the end of the day is helping me to tidy up. She really enjoys picking them up and putting them back in the bag, which let's, let's be honest, that's the right result as a parent if you can get them to tidy up after themselves at the end of the day. Another toy that she's really loving are these Fisher Price link molds, um, and they actually talk to each other interactively and dance and sing, teach them numbers and letters. And she really enjoys these. She loves that they speak to each other, and she loves dancing along to the little jingles that they play. So they're really good. I think there's also other ones within the set that you can buy to expand. So again, the more you've got, the more they interact with each other. She's also really into soft toys at the moment. So she loves this little jelly cat penguin wearing a Santa hat. She actually was gifted that at a hotel we went to last year and she was quite small and she loves playing with it even now. She's got this soft raggy doll. Again, super soft, really cute, but she loves holding this. And her absolute favorite soft toy at the moment is actually this um, Cheltenham race course Horse. So she she loves this. It's one of the first toys she grabs in the morning when she comes down and she gives it cuddles and she goes, ah, so she, she really loves this one. One of the other things that she loves is this soft unicorn rucksack. It's all soft, made out of sort of almost like teddy material. So it's really, really comfortable, lovely little straps. And it's actually the perfect size. It fits on her back beautifully. Um, without taking up too much space and she just really enjoys doing the zip up and opening the zip and putting things in and out. One of the things that she loves to carry around in there is this Fisher Price um, tablet. She really enjoys this. Um, it plays different sounds. It can do different things. It's got three different stages on it. So it will do sounds, it will do letters. As you can see. Can you twit like an owl? Can you twit twoo like an owl? So it's getting them to practice sounds. It also does letters and things as well. So a really lovely little toy, but she just loves pretty much putting it in the bag, zipping the bag up and carrying that around with her. Another thing she 
loves uh, wooden puzzles. So I'll try to show you this. So this is a farmyard one, as you can see. She hasn't quite mastered how to actually do the puzzle yet. <laughs> Um, but she does loves playing with the wooden animals so she brings the chick around and she bounces it around like it's a hopping around in a farmyard and we're trying to teach her the animals and the sounds that they make so she really loves this sticking on the wooden theme is this wooden shape sorter so on the different sides it's got the various different shapes and some on the top obviously the top lifts up and you've got the wooden pieces inside which fit through she's really getting the hang now of putting the pieces through the holes she does get quite frustrated when she can't master it but she does enjoy this she's also got another variation of a, a shape a shape sort of toy she's got the fisher price um cookie jar it's quite an old school toy that one I think it's been around for years I think I may have even had one of those myself but she enjoys that also again the same concept of putting things in and taking them out so she's really enjoying those she also loves this um, baby Einstein piano so it's a wooden piano and it plays music like an actual piano. So it's got no actual keys that you press. It's a solid piece of wood on the top, but it does react to when you touch each of the individual keys. So she loves this. She loves playing the little songs. It will also play music for you. So she enjoys pushing that and having a little dance along to the songs that it plays. So it also comes with some music cards that you can slot in here and it will tell you what colour key to press in order to play the song. She really enjoys um, playing with it at the moment but she's not quite at the stage obviously where she can use the cards. So we've taken those away for the time being so they don't get damaged. But even so, she loves playing with the guitar itself and listening to the songs that it plays and just messing around with the keys, making her own tunes. Um, another thing that she's got and absolutely loves is this little balance bike. It's really cute, um, small little bike um, that they kind of use their feet to scoot along. She loves this. Her favourite thing is actually when she plays on it with her dad and he um, whizzes her around the kitchen as fast as he can run with her. She finds that absolutely hilarious um, and really enjoys this one. So that's a lovely little toy. It's really good for getting them to, to learn their balance, also to use their legs as a sc scooting motion. So it's a really good first introduction to a bike. She also absolutely loves books at the moment, particularly sensory books. So any books like this, where they've got sort of different textures and touches on. So this is a, a monster book and on each page, it counts down from five to four different monsters each time a monster leaves but it's lovely and bright and colourful and it's got lovely textures on it which she really enjoys another one of her favourites is these collection books of that's not my so this is the one she actually got for halloween as a treat for halloween and uh, so this one's got a furry tummy and each page has got some sort of different texture she loves these pages the most it's almost like Velcro and she loves scratching at it with her fingers and getting that scratchy sound. But she loves these. She also really loves flap books. So Dear Zoo, she's got Spot the Dog. So she loves peeling back the flaps and looking at the animals. So she, she loves all these different books as well. And also sound books. So this is a farmyard book and it's got different sounds. So the cow says moo. And you push the cow and he moves and he's got various different animals on each page. She loves this one actually, the rooster. She loves the sound the rooster makes. So she really enjoys books. Um, she'll often be found either sitting, reads, trying to read the books herself. And with this one, she'll be sitting, pushing the buttons on her own, getting the animals to make the sounds. Um, but if she brings them to you, she loves to do it, obviously, together and hear the story that goes alongside it. 
Another thing that we actually did buy this when she was tiny last Christmas um, and she loved it even then. She used to just lay on the floor and laugh at it, but it's the Dancing Llama. Now it's fur does shred, so it is something that I would recommend that you don't leave them to play with sort of unsupervised. But if I push it for you. He dances, he twerks basically. So he shakes his bum, he shakes his head and he will move around when he's on the floor. She finds this hilarious. She loves dancing along to the song. So she'll press it and she'll start doing a little jig to it. She really finds it funny. Um, the music does get slightly annoying after a while and we do sometimes switch it off, but, but she really loves this one. I think he plays about three different tunes as well. And finally, a really simple toy that she loves are just these simple stacking cups from Ikea. She loves building towers with them. So I think there's seven in total. I've only got six here, I could only find six. Um, but she loves like building them, stacking them up. She also likes connecting them together um, and putting things inside. So you can sort of sometimes push them together and then she might put a dummy inside and shake them like a rattle. So she seems to have hours of fun with these and they were less than three pounds. It's one of the best three pounds I think my husband and I have ever spent because it really does keep her entertained for hours. So I think that's all I wanted to share with you today. It's just a few ideas. Hopefully you might get some, maybe, as I said at the beginning, some Christmas inspiration for little ones or perhaps upcoming birthdays. As I say, these are all toys that Layla has loved and is still loving and plays with on a daily basis. I'll leave them all linked below for you so you can have a little look at those. Or if I can't find the exact item, I'll link similar ones for you. I'd also love for you to let me know what toys your little one plays with. As I say, Layla's 15 months old. So if you've got a little one of similar age or a bit older, please do comment below and let me know what toys they love to play with. Also let me know if you would like me to do a what we've bought Layla for Christmas video. Um, I'm happy to film one of those. I haven't started wrapping yet, so there might be time to, to quickly film one of those before I wrap up her presents. So if you'd like to see one of those, again, comment below. If you've enjoyed today's video, then please do subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So thank you for watching. Hope you're all well and see you soon. Goodbye.